Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be me Carla McGowan at Colour and Book Collection and finished pages. So as you can see, I have quite a few Carla books and there's quite a few finished pages, including a completed book. So this video may be a long video. I may split it into two depending on how many videos it I mean how many like how long it is because I have a lot to show you I have all the book all these books and I also have a PDF and I'm also a Patreon as well so I have quite a few pages from my Patreon pages so so I do have them in like order of size of book um so I have the smaller ones first just because that's how I have them on me on my trolley and then like the ones that are the same size are just in a random order so we're going to start with macarons a sketchbook i keep wanting to say macaroon sketchbook but the most of them i have just used alcohol markers and gel pens a lot of jelly rolls will be used in these glitter gel pens will be pentel sparkle pops will be just everything if you've watched me previous finished pages then then you'll know like what kind of supplies I like to use. So this is the first one that I did, which is just the title page. I don't know, who, I've finished this one on the 9th of the 11th. So this is just a, Carla generally tends to like put herself in the illustration on one of the intro pages. So, so I just did this one. I haven't marked any of them or anything because I just find it a waste of time. <laughs> I just flip through the book and that's it. So this one is lovely. I know that I definitely used Ohu oh Hoop pastel markers and Astra pastel pencils on this one. I can remember because it's not really any sparkle or anything. This was just a this was just a random like stress relief page. It didn't take us too long. And I completed this on the 30th of the 12th, 2021. Then I did do this in a colour and chat, I think, and I'm pretty sure I used Ohuhu markers as well. And you can just tell that I just remember using the Ohuhu, the Ohuhu pastel markers. I can never see that on camera. And then there is like some metallic sort of pen you can see. If you want to know what I use specifically on this page, then go back to that video. I really like it actually and the, I know that this is a jelly roll moonlight in her hair. Like looking back like you can see all of the places that I missed with the metallic. <laughs> the metallic gel pen like you can see all the, like I wasn't too careful about getting it more opaque but that's it. And I did that on the 14th of the 11th, 21, 2021. Then we've got this lady which is blue so i did this on the 30th of the 12th 2021 this one has the glitter on couldn't tell you which brand of glitter but it just has glitter gel pen and markers as i say and there's definitely some glaze on that flower i can i can tell and then I just added that like moon in myself with some silver gel pen. Silver metallic or looks like a silver metallic gel pen. I like how she turned out. Then I know this one was just done with like scriblicious gel pens that I was trying to use up. I was just trying to use up like the random colour so it's like a whole page of gel pen. And this was one of the first pages I did in this book actually on the 28th of September 2021. I only really started my colouring journey, I started my colouring journey like 2020 on and off but mainly I started in 2021 but like I only started colouring Carla I think was like last year maybe August. It was whenever she released Bell Pepper Strell because Emma bought his um, spooklet volume one in Bell Pepper Strell so it was whenever she brought out that is when I started colouring Carla so we've got this one here which is just a bunch of bright colours as you can see every jelly roll I own is on this page 
along with a few colour technique ones I believe but you can tell well I can tell all of these um, gel pens is Jelly Wool Moonlight they are my favourite it's just got glittery skin this was a buddy colour with colour I am starting to write it on the back now but I believe her name is Colouring with Jana I know her name is Jana but I'm not like exactly sure so that's that one then we've got this one oh I finished that one on the 5th of the 2nd so I did that one this year so I have this one as well and this one was done on the 9th of the 3rd so just a few months ago like all of these shiny ones that look like jelly those are the jelly wool glaze i have quite a few brands of like sparkly gel, gel pens i can usually tell which are the pentel jewel hybrids and then obviously any of these metallic ones they'll be the jelly rolls and obviously all these moonlights um like the fluorescent ones will be the jelly wool moonlight if you know me you know how much i love my jelly rolls it's mainly only the sparkly ones and um, the sparkly gel pens and the markers that differ so then there's this one which is also supposed to be like a a collar page and i just saw orange because like the dress was already cheetah like a cheetah print so i just saw orange because that's the colour that just sprang to mind and Carla has black hair so I did a hair glittery with an orange fringe just to match the vibe and then this is all glitter gel pen and then I actually drew these in the background myself with a black glitter gel pen to make like the background kind of leopard print themed I really like how she turned out considering I, I'm not like the biggest fan of orange but I really like her and I did this one on the 24th of the 12th 2021 I'll try and make sure that you're in frame well make sure that I'm in frame this is a whip it's not finished yet this is actually a book any 10 books to finish so I need to get on colouring more in this so this is another one that I really really like and I know this is a buddy colour as well but I can't remember who it is. I believe it's Brooke Lawrence all of this like, I don't know if you can tell the difference between the crown and the hair I think the hair was like just a random colour technique glitter gel pen or chroma tech whatever but then the crown and the eyeliner and everything that is a sparkle pop I can just tell the difference just gorgeous I really like how this turned out and then you've got the metallic and the moonlight in the scribbles and obviously the outline in the metallic and if you don't know what the jelly walls are they're like gel pens from Sakura is that how you say it they're the best gel pens well they've got like the sparkle pops with it I'll tell you a minute that one was done on the 24th of the 11th they've got like like all of the gel pens are lovely but I would I would take the Pentel Dual Hybrids over the Stardust but the Stardust are still absolutely gorgeous if you know what I'm talking about you know but like I, I like the colours as well in the Stardust so I, I would think that you need both in your life because they both bring something very nice to the table so I did model here on Jessica Rabbit or like what my version of Jessica Rabbit would be because I just thought she looked like a beautiful pin up Jessica Rabbit and I really 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 like how she turned out I did struggle with the skin I remember and then a Prismacolor pencil came to the rescue so the skin's a bit a bit of an issue but that was like I feel like this is one of the first pages I did yeah in the 30th of the 10th so the 30th of october last year this was like one of the first pages i did in this book so again all the shiny stuff is the jelly roll glaze if you haven't tried the jelly roll pens and you, you just need to if you get the opportunity to i know they're a bit more expensive than other pens but 
they're worth every penny and I don't think they're like extremely like expensive and gorgeous I really like her and I know that that was the Artie's that Everblend Mark has so I just tell you the date so is that the last one I feel like I've got another one here somewhere yep we've got her absolutely stunning I think I got these, um, I coloured these definitely before I like, before I developed me, me style more with like just putting moonlight everywhere and you know, if you know what I'm on about, you know what I'm on about. But I think that's everything in that book. So that was Macaron's sketchbook. Next is Spooklet's sketchbook, of course, by Carla Magana. I love this book. This is the... I think it's the second most recent one she brought out. This was she bought this out in December. So this is not technically a colouring page, but I did colour this one because I wanted to just try out. I think I wasn't feeling very well after Christmas, and I wanted to just try out the Arteza markers. Not the Arteza markers. I wanted to try out some Ohuhu markers. It wasn't even those. It was the Windsor and Newton markers. I, I forgot that I've got those. The Winter and Newton Pro markers, so some of them will be done in that. And then um, some Posca pens that I got. But we have this lady here, and I love her. I love how fierce she is. When I saw this page, I just thought, you know what, she looks like a boss. So I wanted to do her in black and red. She looked like she was up to some mischief, and I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Of course, on the dress, you've got some black glaze and then this gold is definitely the dual hybrid gold you can just tell by how shiny and beautiful it is and then this is all a red moonlight couldn't tell you on the pencil don't know what did I, tell you? I don't think I dated that other one. Oh, I did this um one this one was done on the 31st of the first 2022 I thought I didn't date it but then I spied it right there so this one again in the hair and the earrings and on the eyeshadow is them gorgeous dual hybrids like if you haven't tried those yet either I've got an itchy ear if you haven't tried those yet either just oh, you need to they're stunning if you like glitter gel pens you'll be in love look at the sparkle yeah absolutely love her she was done on the 24th of december 2021 so then we'll have this lady right here and for this one i used the ohuhu pastel markle markle markers and some color technique glitter gel pens and there's also some Astra Pastello pencils on here. I just went with like a limited sort of colour scheme and I was I think I was going for some colours that I hadn't used yet in the in the set of the pastel set. And I didn't date that one, so I don't know when it was done. Then I've got this one. I do love this one. I think she looks super, super cool and I really liked how her makeup turned out. Um, I did use the Astra Pastello pencils because for a while I was using those for makeup. I gave them away um, just because they're quite hard and they hurt my hand and I only tended to use them for makeup and I just thought, you know, there's no point keeping them when I was going through like a little declutter phase. But couldn't tell you which gel pens are on this. It'll probably be Chromatech. I just loved how the makeup turned out in the pink and I just loved all the com like the colour combinations of the blue, the pink and the the green and the glitter. I just really liked it. And that one was done on the 9th of December 2021. Then we'll have this one. This one was just very, very quick. I remember I used the Windsor and Newton pastel set, the peach and the green. 
and then I also use some of the Pentel Milky, is it the Milky Pops or the Milky Gel pens just in the peach and green colour. There's no sparkle on here at all. I just wanted to do something quick and simple and easy. And just for like some stress relief or anxiety relief. So that one was done on the 1st of January 2022. Then we'll have this one right here. I'm not normally one to put yellow and blue together, especially like neon yellow and I don't know what I was thinking this this day but I think I just wanted to go for like a colour scheme that I hadn't really gone for before and again I just went all out like what I mean by when I said I hadn't went to gel like jelly wall crazy yet with that page like the first few pages I did in macaroon sketchbook this is what I mean like I go a bit gel jelly wall crazy <laughs> or like just gel pen crazy in general because Carla's pages are so enjoyable a colour that's that page and that is and that was done on the 9th of the 3rd 2022 so like as I say any like fluorescent colours or like things that have scribbles on or just anything you see that is this kind of vibe on a page is a jelly wall it's a jelly wall moonlight i should say there's different types of jelly walls but yeah just absolutely gorgeous so this is one of me 10 weeks to finish as well i did not write down the date i'll have to go in coloring journal and try and write down the date i don't know how i don't remember sometimes but I did use the Spectrum Noir markers on this one and as you can see there's a ton of, there's a ton of jelly wall and the glitter gel pen is the Case Exile, Case Exile, I don't know how to say, it's that gel pen brand that I don't know how to say. The birds are chirping, it, it, it is 5 to 5 in the morning but the birds are like up so early, it's just like chill out go back to sleep yeah i absolutely love how she turned out i think she's gorgeous then this one was the first page i colored in this book i literally colored it the same night that i got the book and it was around christmas time or like it was december because this book did come out in early december i think and um, so i did this on the 2nd of the 12th, I, I, I was looking at it with my eyes but my brain just wasn't registering the numbers. So it was the 2nd of December 2021. So I decided to turn that into a Christmas page. And I love how she turned out. You've got that dual hybrid on the hair which is the black plus metallic red. So it goes down like dark and then yeah. It's like the, you have the ink and then you have the... Is it like makeup powder or something? Because this doesn't look like that. I feel like it's an ink with the makeup powder in. So it goes down like black. And then it'll, it'll dry. And then you've got like the makeup powder. It's the red that's left. And then this gold is gorgeous. It's the Jelly Wall Metallic. And as you can see I ran out. Because these trays are different than these trays down here. And I ran out of the metallic so i had to come down here with the link shine gold and that's what's on the background but it worked out i do absolutely love her i think she's gorgeous and then of course you've got that amazing beautiful jewel hybrid gold like that gold is like the most stunning gold Ever. then we'll have this one right here this one was done with ohuhu markers i believe and again there's jelly wall moonlight not jelly wall moonlight i've got the moonlight on the brain the purple jelly wall metallic and then there is a gold jelly wall metallic as well and then oh you've got a, i've got a red jelly wall metallic going on here and then there is some red glitter gel pen in the hair. And then you've got that gold metallic on our glasses. 
I really like how she turned out actually. This was a body colour with Johanna from Jujo Zahana. And this one was coloured on the 14th of March 2022. So I hope that I'm going at an okay speed and not being too slow just so I can get all these done without the video being super long. But I am at 25 minutes and I'm only on the second book so it may have to be split into two parts. So there's this one right here. And this one is gorgeous. Again got all of the other mentioned mentioned um supplies on this as well so i've mentioned the majority of the supplies that i would have used on the page so i'll just show you the page and then you just can just see it and then i'll tell you the date that i completed it because as i say there's just so many pages that i've completed and i don't want to be sitting here filming well i don't want to be like making a super long video of it so i will have to split it so this one was done on the 9th of the 12th, 2021 and I believe this is supposed to be like a Carla inspired page as well and I love purple, purple is my favourite colour and I love purple with gold and purple is Carla's favourite colour as well and so I decided to turn these into Ralph's and if you know, you know, I love this book so much, if you are thinking about buying a colour book I would definitely recommend this one and then we've got this one this neon goddess so I did use the neon markers from the Ohuhu range for this page and then there's jelly rolls and I can't remember which glitter gel pens because that that gold that neon yellow gold is gorgeous and i love me neons if you follow me instagram or me channel you'll know i love me some neons so this one was done on the 31st of the 12th 2021 and then we've got this one and i know that i definitely use the rts markers on here and there's definitely some dual hybrids as well and i believe this is a souffle and i believe that this is the jelly wall souffle i just love her i think she's absolutely gorgeous love the color combination i used then we have this lady right here i'm not the biggest fan of this one but i still really enjoy it and this was ohuhu markers and just i think it was chromatech gel pens so they have a chromatech or color technique i know it was a cheaper brand and then she's gorgeous I can never remember what pencils I use on the makeup. I love this one as well. I love it. Oh, that one was done on the 31st of the 20. That one was done on the 31st of the 1st as well, 2022. Oh, it was finished on the 31st. Then there's this one. I absolutely love it. I just love how she turned out. I think it's gorgeous and I absolutely love this purple jelly wall moonlight. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to be end up saying gorgeous a lot in this video but guess what? She's gorgeous. Is that the last one in this book? Yep. And she was done on the 22nd of the 12th, 2021. So that is everything for 
booklet sketchbook so I don't think I have as many finished pages in the next few books so we should hopefully whiz through these ones this is a desert muse I have only done two in here I think I really need to get on this one and colour some more pages so I have done this one and as you can see I moon like crazy again I have no idea how like this mishap happened over here but this was a body colour with Misty from Country Girls Colour and Play there's not much actual sparkle on here except for that earring it's mostly like metallic and moonlight but I actually love how this turned out I do think it looks very psychedelic as me friend Claire pointed out and I, I just do I love it and this was done on the 21st of the 11th 2021 and then I'm pretty sure that I have only done one more in here but it is such a gorgeous book that I really need to get on it and do more pages so this is the second page that I've done in this book it did go a bit wrong it's a bit messy but I enjoyed the process this is a buddy colour with the Goblin Quinn I did film this as a colour with me it will be up on the channel if you want to know what I used and how I coloured this page and as you can see it's a bit messy but I did use like some new mediums I used watercolour on the background and some glitter markers that I got so I did have fun like experimenting but it didn't turn out as neat as I would like it to but I like the colours and everything that I use it's just the it's just a bit messy it's just a bit messier than I would have liked it to be so that's that one and I didn't date that one either so so yeah this is all for Desert Muse it's such a beautiful book and I really need to colour in it more I'm going to make a conscious effort to colour more in this one next is Eerie Patisserie and I think I've only done a few pages again in here So I have done this page right here. This was a buddy colour with Brooke Lawrence. And as you can see, a lot of glitter gel pen, a lot of glaze, just a lot of beautifulness. I kind of just didn't know what I wanted to do with this page and I just kind of threw something together. And then a lot of you liked it on Instagram. There is some red glaze on her hair. It got a lot of likes and love on Instagram, so thank you. But yeah, I just kind of throw that together and that's what you can do with colour pages. You can just like throw anything that comes to your head together and like literally everything goes together on her pages. It's just amazing. So this one was done on the 7th of the 2nd, 2022. I need to colour more in this one as well. I've coloured more, I've like kind of coloured more in... A select few of our books but I need to colour more in these ones so what I've done this one and I did this with the Ohuhu pastel markers and if you can see that um, glitter gel pen on the what's it the ice cream is it supposed to be or candy floss that was a clear gel pen that I got from an Acromatech pack and it was gorgeous and then I think everything to outline, I don't think this was Moonlight, I think this was the Pentel, um, not Sparkle Pops, the Pentel Milky Pops. Because they are like pastel colours. And I had to do quite a few layers, I remember. Because they come in a very thin tip compared to the Moonlight. But I really like how she turned out, I think she looks like a mad scientist. And then this is supposed to be a like a rendition of Carla again and I know that Carla has black hair but I had just got the jewel hybrids so I definitely wanted to use them in the clothes um, on our shirt and that I wanted to just jazz the black up a bit and I give her like a gold hat because I know Carla likes gold 
and I love red and black together, especially with the cake and the tea because she did call herself the desert vampire and I didn't really want to give her white tea so I gave her gold tea because they look expensive and then I made the cake into like a, a blood cake with the blood dripping down it because obviously she's a vampire so she'll like blood and there was all I think I used the Ohuhu markers on that page and I think that's it for this one. Do I write? This one was done on the 18th of the 11th, 2021. And I think that's all for Eerie Patisserie. Next is Dark Garden. Again, haven't done much in this one. And it's not that I don't like them. I love them. They're just, they're all beautiful. I just, for some reason, keep colouring in the same ones. But I definitely need to make more of an effort to go back to these ones. So we'll have this lady right here. And I love her. I love her so much. I love the purple and the gold. That's when I had just got the jewel hybrids. In the gold. Oh my gosh. And this here is jewel hybrid. This is glaze. This is glaze. And this is a jewel hybrid. I don't really like this colour that much. But I had also just got the... The Arteza um, Everblend brush markers, so that's what I used on this page, and I just loved these like turquoisey teal colours. I just thought everything just looked so good together, and I remember doing this eyeshadow look with Prismacolor pencils, and I just loved how it looked. I was just in love with this page, and I still absolutely love it. This was a buddy colour with a Johanna as well from Jojo's Hannah, and this was done on the 4th of the 11th 2021 and I wrote body colour with and then no name so that was helpful so I did this page and I think I just randomly coloured this page this is all moonlight from the cosmos range I believe and then Obviously you can see all the glitter which I believe is Chromatech or Colour Technique, can't quite remember. And then everything that outlines like these earthy sort of colours, whatever, like I often use the moonlights to cover the black line art just because I feel like it just makes the page really pop. But they do have the like fluorescent version of the moonlights and then they also have like the this set that is like it's called the cosmos range where it's more like earthy tones and it's just the beautiful so i really like how this turned out i think i wanted to go for definitely more desert colors and i don't know where i'm looking because i know that that's it did I just tell you when this was finished? So I did this on the 20th of October. So the 20th of the 10th, 2021. So that's it for Dark Garden. I really need to make an effort to colour in those three books more. So next is Spooklets Volume 1. This is the last book I'm going to show you in part one because the next book is actually a full completed book. So I'll just make this the last um, book in this video and then I'll move on to the other books in part 2 just because I don't want this video to be extremely long. So this is Spooklet Volume 1 and I've done quite a few pages in here. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous book by the way. This is one of the first, this one in Bell Pepper Straw was the first books that I had from Carla and this was only the second or no, it was the third image that I had coloured from Carla and I love her. I think she turned out so so beautiful. I love like I'm not the biggest fan of orange but I do love like a peachy version of orange or like a light orange. Especially love peach and purple together. And I don't think I had like a lot of the moonlight yet. I didn't have the glaze or anything. Um, so again, this is not like proper moonlight crazy, 
but I think that this one I don't really know what this pen was this fluorescent one maybe I had the moonlight but I'm not sure I had the glaze or anything but I think that this is a stardust because I think I had bought the set with the the um like the variety set but the glaze wasn't in there and this was just like when I was finding out my style and stuff like that so this one was done on the 25th of August 2021 and then we've got this one which is a just slightly maneuvering years so this one is a body colour with or like was a body colour with crafting with Susie and it was done on the 10th of the 3rd 2021 so a more recent one any of this like full block glitter is like a DIY glitter that I make I just mix Mod Podge with loose glitter This was done with the Winsor & Newton Pro Markers, I believe, and I love how it turned out, it's just gorgeous. If you can see the sparkle on the kind of lavender lilac bits, that is a clear jelly roll stardust and it is stunning. It's stunning. Like if you can get one stardust from the jelly roll range go for that one because you can put it over anything and it's absolutely gorgeous if anyone can count how many times i say gorgeous in these videos so then we have this lady right here this was one of the earlier ones that i colored as well i think this is when i first um got the glaze this was a buddy color or like still is a buddy color with deb eilbeck from instagram and i just love her i think she's beautiful i love all of my color pages I do, I love all of them. So as you can see, sparkliness and glaziness. I try to like match the makeup always and just there's obviously definitely glaze on the the clouds to try and make them look wet and glaze on the raindrops. So yeah, that is that lady right there. And she was completed on the 19th of October 2021. So this is the first picture that I coloured in this book and I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, I remember I had just bought some um, doodle, zebra doodlers. So I think that's what gel pens or glitter gel pens are on this page I'm not sure which uh, which alcohol markers I used and that's when I was still writing the the dates on the first like that's when I was still writing the dates on the front of the page when I and I realized that like, I should write them on the back so that this was done on the 23rd of the 8th 2021 yeah I love how it turned out absolutely love her i know i kind of do like unnatural skin tones but i love how i like <clears throat> i love how i did this one just in like normal natural skin tone and just so like such pretty pink makeup i don't need to try and make or like just try um more regular skin tones on carla's girls instead of all the colorful skin tones so yeah, then there's this one, which is a body colour again with Crafting with Susie. So again, all the previously mentioned supplies used on this page. Most of my pages have a lot of glitter. I really like how she turned out as well. You probably guessed what I'm going to say. She's gorgeous. This was a more recent one. So yeah, we did this one last month as I'm filming this. I don't know when it's going to go up. But uh, we did this one on the 5th of... I completed this on the 5th of April. I was going to say December. I don't know why. On the 5th of April 2022. So yeah. That's that one. And I have this one. This one was, was an earlier one as well, completed in 
September, on the 7th of September 2021. This was a buddy colour with Natasha Creative Arts. And we did like a challenge and we picked three colours for each other and she picked red, green and yellow for me obviously. And I love how it turned out. I was super proud of this because I was just big, like I wasn't so far into me into colouring call and I had tried like the unnatural skin tone and I just really love how it turned out. I remember just having so much fun with this one as well. Carla's pages I definitely have the most fun with and just the most creativity. I just love them. There's so many gorgeous pages in this book, in all of our books really and it's just like I have loads of other books that I want to colour in but then I also like just want to colour Carla and it's just there's just so many beautiful books to colour. So then there is this page here and I really really like I just love her as well I think she's gorgeous. In the background I did use um some of that like if you watch me Poundland haul I got some glitter paint that was like only a pound obviously um but not obviously anymore if you watch that video it's like more than a pound haul more than a pound land haul so yeah it was like a gold glitter paint and that's what i did on the background over some marker i tried to blend like two markers together that were running out and i love the color scheme of this i think it's just gorgeous like i'm not that confident in most of my life except for my coloring skills like i know my pages are going to turn out lovely and that's a really nice feeling being confident in like your ability to create beautiful colour pages and um, yeah that it's just the dual hybrid gold it's just there's no words and the jelly wool metallic gold and it's just and then there's also like this light jelly wool um jelly wool stardust and the light pink i just love them i just love them i just love all the, the colors that i used on this so this was a buddy color out with louise coloring 41 i think yep and i did this on the 10th of april 2022 so quite a more recent one as well and i think that is it So yeah, that is it for Spooklets Volume 1 and that is it for Part 1 of me, Carla, Magana, Colouring Book Collection and Finished Pages. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me and you like my personality and everything or you just enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed, then please consider subscribing. Colouring is my therapy and it's just me absolute <laughs> love in a mind that is against us with loads of anxiety and depression and everything like that it is just a escape for me that's why i changed my channel name to chelsea's creative escape previously chelsea jade murray and just my name but yeah so if you want to know when part two is up turn on that notification bell and hopefully it should notify you when it's up i'll try not to have like too much of a space in between them but I don't have a lot of energy on most days and editing is not my favourite thing in the world. So yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you got to the end, leave a purple heart and that is it. I'll see you next time or I'll speak to you next time because you know, I'm not exactly seeing you with my eyes. So yeah, bye.